welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to do the over edit video that I posted at least three days ago, probably four. I haven't posted in a while because I'm actually on a new schedule, which I will tell you right now. So the new schedule is posting Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, I don't post Saturday, Sunday, Monday because basically that's the weekend and then Monday I'm tired from the weekend because basically Saturday I, I work, I mean I work every single week but mostly Saturday I work and then I work on other stuff and then Sunday I go to a car to meet and yeah that's pretty much my schedule and then Monday I'm just tired from the weekend so we're going to be posting Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 12 p.m. which is noon uh, Eastern time so yeah so let's get right into the tutorial alright guys so basically the first thing you're going to want to do once you're in the DaVinci Resolve project and make sure it's 60 FPS I already did this obviously because it's just a habit to me so make this 60 FPS press save and yeah so once you're there the first thing you want to do is bring up your song the song I'm using is cloud 9 by Beach Bunny um, it's a really nice smooth song um, it's really really nice I like that so the first thing you want to do is find the first beat so basically those are the first four beats so the next thing you want to do is kind of trim where you want the start to happen so I think around right here I'll have the start um, control B at that and then pull all the way back basically the startup is basically up to your first clip so the clip I'll be using is probably this clip so basically the clips I'm using is cultures I'm gonna I took out all the sound effects so yeah um, so we're going to watch it right there so that's not the so the next thing you want to do is find where he the pump shot so right about there, right where you see him is where you see he's blue, um, that's when you put your marker. So put your marker down and then cut right in front of it, um, delete that, go to the first clip, sync it. So once it's synced, it'll be kind of clean, uh, it'll be really clean actually, it should be. And then just go all the way out, fade that, fade that, and then it'll be like this. So once that's done, um, that's your first clip. Basically, I do all the clips first, and then I do the effects. So we're going to trim that out like that, and then you're going to do the next clip. Basically, these clips are going to be different than the ones you saw on on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, they're going to be much different. Sorry, sorry, this song it just kind of gives you that that like really nice vibe. I like it. So we're gonna trim that out, cut that, and then go to the second clip right here and trim that in. So now we have two. Um, now you're gonna do the third one. The third one's number five. Um, right here, you're gonna cut that. Then. Them. So that's a really clean, uh, fast one. Um, that I I really do like this clip because of how fast it is. And then trim that out. And then you could just so you see how can't really do much about that. Um, sadly, you have to do no, you can't do anything. So basically, with that is this one is the last. That's what I know. Them. So you put in the last part. And then you put the number five. You put the last one in. And then this will have sound effects because this has the mouth. Right there. So that's the last one. So right there, put that in. Go here, mark it. Go here, mark it. Trim. 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 Same thing with the uh, the sound. The sound. Um, basically sound always follows that and then put it in. So basically now you have all your four clips. It should look like this So 
So, honestly, I think that's like my best synced up over edit ever. Even though it's not an over edit yet. But that, that, I will say, like, I'm new. I'm new. I'm a new editor, right? You guys notice that. I'm a new editor. That's clean. Like, that's actually beautifully clean. Alright? Um, so, next thing you're going to want to do is, like, kind of control B, because I'm only doing four clips. Control B, trim, fade that out, so once it's done, it sounds like this. Fades out, and it sounds really clean. Alright, so basically, the next thing you're going to want to do is the velocity. So basically, with the velocity, I don't think I have, yeah, I don't have any, um... Any like velocity edits, so these are all free. So basically, go here, right click, read time controls. By the way, guys, this will be a little bit of a longer tutorial just because of how much there is to this. So basically, once you're here, you add a speed point on the kill, go back right where the pump comes out, right here, add speed point, and then go in the middle of those two. Once you're here, Add another speed point, and that will give you three speed points. So go, uh, change this speed to 50, change this speed to 400, go back a tiny bit, change this speed to 50, um, and then go back. And then it should look like this. So honestly, that's really clean without the optical flow and stuff because it's an over edit what you're going to want to do is the optical flow you don't have to but if you just wanted to look uh more blurry cleaner and stuff like that um, then do an optical flow and stuff like that. so yeah that's clean and then this one um i do the same thing retime controls uh, so you do retime controls, add speed point on that kill, go back, right where the gun pulls out, right about here, add speed point, go in the middle of those two, add speed point, make the middle one right here, change speed to 200, um, make this one, change speed to 25, um, and then you go to here, control B, delete that, and then pull that back up, um, and then kind of pull that back that forward and then it should look like um you see how like a flake um like i say guys this is going to be much different than my over edit but it's still a nice tutorial so um yeah uh, so, go here, so it's like a flick it's clean um and then you go to this third one add speed point and basically with this one i'm gonna do the new so my last video that I before this one, it's a new velocity. This I'm going to explain the new velocity in this one. So basically, you add speed point, go back more, go here, add speed point, um, and go in the middle of those two. And you're going to do this this one right here. You're going to change speed to 25. Go here, change speed to 400. Uh, bring that back. And then go here, change speed to 50. Um, and then go here, control B, delete that last part and trim that out. So then, and then put optical flow. Optical flow on all of them, enhance faster. So it, this is boring. That's the only boring part to do, but it's it makes it really clean and flawlessly. So now it looks like this. Um, it's like a slow and then it slams in. It's really clean. I do like it. And then the last one, you're going to do um, a fast one. So you're going to go here, add speed point, go back where the gun pulls out. So right here, because it's a, sl it's a fast clip, you're only going to need one and then change speed to 200. Um, and that's pretty much it. Actually, no. And then we're going to change this speed. To 25 and then go here control B delete and then it should look like so because there's no optical flow um, it looks choppy so optical flow and his faster fill and then smoothing and then 
pretty nice. Um, so now all the velocity is done. This is what it should look like. By the way, guys, I might be cutting a lot of this out, but um, except for what it should look like because I want you guys to know what it should look like before you, you know, are like, wait, I hope I did it right. You know what I mean? So, um, this is what it should look like once you have the velocity. See how like that's not um as clean and um it's because VH not look man my man guy we're gonna make this one actually fifty um just so it goes better and then drag that all the way in um, just so it goes like better with it. Actually um reset this to one hundred Reset this to 100. We're going to do a different velocity for the last part. Just um, bear with me on this one. So once you're here, you're going to trim that out. Um, so at C point here, you're going to clear C point there. You're going to go to the back where the pump pulls out. Um, right here. At C point, go in the middle. At C point. You're going to do a 25, a 200 drag that back to a 50 just like the last one i know you guys don't have to do that but like if you want to um go for it because basically um it it does really look cool that velocity um, yeah. so yeah that's much cleaner um so yeah that's much cleaner next thing we're gonna do is the adjustment clips with the effects so with the effects you go to the effects tab adjustment clip and right here you go here then go to the marker that you have control B. go to the end control V delete that um, so the first one is a build-up so what you're going to do is go to fusion on um, the build-up is going to be let's see let's see so basically it's going to be a purple aura build up, right? So I'm putting, um, I have the folder. Let me, I'm going to wait for this to load in. Um, so it loaded in. Uh, let me show you the folder. So I have the folder right here. Um, here's the folder. So basically, it's going to be this one the purple aura build up dark setting. So um, once you put that in, you're going to want to drag this to that and then this line to the media out one. Basically, you see nothing. Um, it's all loading, rendering. There it is. Um, the dissolve shake you're going to want to do go down a tiny bit. Dissolve speed down a tiny bit. Ampli amplitude down a tiny bit. Also, and then frequency down because you don't want a lot of two. You don't want a lot of shake. You want more clean. Um, blur input tiny bit. Um, so now it should look like. Let it render out before you. Uh, do anything because if you're like oh yeah that looks good um yeah it just looks weird um so uh, right now I'm letting it render out it takes time to render out um there it is so that's what you have um as a build up it's pretty clean and then you go to the adjustment clip and then go to fusion and with the adjustment clip it can be anything so what I'm going to do is the pink glow RGB shape. So the pink glow one. Uh, let this load in. So now load it in. I'll show you. All right, give me a second. My folder closed down. So it's going to be this one, the pink glow RGB shape. So once you put that in, uh, what you're going to do is put that to that and that to that. Um, and that's a lot, right? So you're going to go to shake, amplitude, down, frequency, oh shoot, down, also, and you don't want that. You don't want a lot. And then the RGB separation is fine. The chroma glow, you're going to make the chroma glow intensity a tiny bit down like that. Um, yeah, it should. It would be really clean, I already know that, um, because I've done it before, so it would be really clean. You go here, and then, bam. And then once you're here, you go, you just do a, this one's just going to be a simple impact. 
Because basically with over edits, we were like, oh, a lot of editing. When I over edit, I don't like adding so much edits, right? So this one's just going to be a simple screen, screen pump impact. See how quick that went in? It's going to, I'll show you, I'll show you what it is. Um, it's this one right here, the screen pump impact. Um, and then I'll put this over here. And then, yeah, so basically with the shake, it's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine on it, so you kind of just leave it and it'll be, it'll go like that. Yeah, it just has a tiny shake. This one on the other side is going to have a build up plus impact because basically you don't want to do all build ups. Like I, when I started editing, I used to do all build ups. So right here, you're going to go to Fusion and we're going to use VH, VHS uh, build up. By the way, guys, you do need Sapphire plugins and Universe plugins for this. So it'd be right here. Um, you. If you don't have uni plugins, uh, they're easy to get. Just search it up on YouTube and you can get them. Um, so yeah, the next thing you're gonna want to do is basically set. It. So what you want to do is make. Uh, you kind of want to make this color a tiny bit like this, okay? And then it whitens up color too. You want to make, uh, I guess you could do red. Um, you can do whatever you want. Um, and then red. And, um, you can do, you can change all of these what you want. Um, it's really cool. So once you do that, it'll go in. Um, and then you go to fusion. And then you do. Uh, we'll do. My bad. We'll do the God X impact on the kill. So basically, God X impact is right here. God X impact. Um, and then you just go to file. And then you go to bam. And yeah, you see how much it is though? So basically, on shake, you put this all the way down. The frequency down also. Shake 2, you put the frequency down. And then soon you'll be able to see it. Shake three, down, and yeah, that's good. And then on this one, you do go to Fusion, and you do the over edit zoom build up, which is the last build up. Uh, and put that in. Stop. Over edit zoom bad. And then that's it. So basically, once that's all done, you're pretty much done, actually. Um, oh, I forgot one thing. I'm sorry. By the way, guys, I did add a sack buildup in there. You guys can use it if you want, but you don't have to. Um, basically, the thing I did forget is a uh, swish plus spaz. So I'm going to add that right now. Um, turn that out. Boom. And then go. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Bam. Bam. Fade that out. So once that's done, the swish and spaz, I'll put this in the folder also. And then uh, copy the spaz that you did and go to this one. Paste. And then put this down one and then trim that out. Bam. So it sounds better. And then go to this one. And do the same thing. Uh, go to here. Do a swish. So paste the swish in here. Bam. Turn that up. And then go here. Paste. Not paste. My bad. My bad. My bad. You're going to want to get this one. Dang it, bro. Uh, it's a little tricky to do all of this, by the way, guys. Um, once you get the hang of it, um, it's really easy. Turn that up. And then make sure this one's just a spaz and then paste and you're done. So once you're done, the next thing you do is either you keep going on with the montage with 
the stuff I got you, or um, you can finish there and render out and post it. So basically, that's it with the tutorial. Um, so yeah, I, I thank you guys for getting me up to 180 subs. I know it says 179, someone unsubbed, sadly, but I'm still chilling. I'm doing what I'm doing. I love what I'm doing. So yeah. Um, if you guys are new, please subscribe. We'll have more uh, videos coming out soon. Like I told you, new schedule posted Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at noon. Every single day. Alright? So, this video will be up t today, obviously, Tuesday. Um, so, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. And if you guys are new, please follow my Twitch, ParkerFXX. It's in the description below. And also, please comment what you want to see next. And please subscribe and leave a like. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm Parker Plays. And I'll see you. Bye, guys.